I'm Kenny from Pro Tool Reviews, and today we're going to show you how to change the blade on your bandsaw. Some people call it a porta band, but if you are not used to doing this, it's kind of intimidating because you got this blade, it comes out of the package, it's circular, but it's got to go into this oval shape. So we're going to use Milwaukee's 2829S, it's their dual trigger uh, compact saw. It's a brushless model, cordless model. So the first thing you want to do, get rid of that battery, okay? You don't want to accidentally hit a trigger and, uh, and start cutting things that shouldn't be cut. And you should also wear a pair of gloves for this because we're going to have to manipulate the blade quite a bit and being around those teeth, especially on a brand new, really sharp blade, uh, there's a chance that you could cut yourself if you're not wearing gloves. So go ahead and do that. Now this model in particular has some covers on the sides and those need to come off first. Not all Porta bands have this, some do. So just be aware of which model you've got. And now that battery mechanism interferes with it. Okay, so now we've got that off. I've got access to my blade here. The other thing to look out for before you get started is your shoe. If this thing is adjustable, go ahead and put it into its furthest position up away from the blade. So it, typically it comes down to help support your material. Go ahead and get it out of the way. It's just going to make your life a little bit easier there. Now, most modern cordless models in particular have their blade tension release right here. So just flip it. No tools needed in most cases, and that's going to release the tension on the wheels underneath. So once you've got that, you can start working your blade out. And you're just trying to get it out of the channels. And it's, the blade is fairly stiff, so you kind of need to bend it and work it a little bit just to get it out away from everything that's trying to hold it in place. There we go. So when you put it back on, the good thing is, as long as you put it teeth side up, when you're looking at it this way, you can't get the direction wrong. Now, if you put it down and you're putting the teeth into the saw itself, that's definitely the wrong way to go. So you can do this however you want. Start by working it around one of the wheels and make sure you get it into the channel coming around the back. Now, where a lot of people are going to get a little mixed up is right here. There's these wheeled guides. Got to make sure that the blade goes in between them. So that's important. And then work the blade around. And notice I'm having to work one side while I'm holding the other side in place because that blade, again, there's some tension there, some memory there that it wants to come back. Now, push it in and you notice it's not really down in perfect position. That's okay. As soon as you hit the trigger, it's going to pull it into the correct position. As long as you've got it in between the guides and around both wheels, you're good. Sometimes you're not going to get it around one wheel or the other for one reason or another. And typically what happens is that this lever's been moved a little bit. So just check it and make sure it's all the way off before you do. Now once you, you're good, you know that you've got your blade in there well, go ahead and flip your saw over and bring the tension all the way back on there and lock it in place. Now again, notice it's riding a little bit off of the edge of the wheel there. So all I'm going to do to correct that is pop my battery in and pull the trigger. And then the guides are going to bring all of that into place exactly where it's supposed to go. So really quick, really easy. If you've got something that you had to take off like covers, go ahead and slap them back on. This cover actually won't go on with the battery in. And once you've got that, you're ready to saw again. So, if you got any more questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm Kenny, as always, thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.